This is a 92M0 CE7. You see here it's currently on 045704. We're going to look to upgrade this terminal to the latest and greatest operating system for the CE7 released by Zebra Technologies. From the support site, I see listed at the tops for operating system for CE7 for the 9200. The latest is 055716. This is a hotfix file that can be added as well, but 055716 is what we're looking for. So if we scroll down, we see here there's that version, but this one's localized. So, but if you're in the United States, we're going to go down and find there's another hotfix, uh, the update loader image, and we can download one that has a clean application, one that has not. What this clean application means, it goes to basically a factory default. Without the clean application, it basically updates and leaves the application directory intact and some applications intact. I recommend there are release notes to make sure the version you have can be directly upgraded to this 055716. To do this upgrade, when you download from the support site, you'll get a zip file. And if you unzip to the directory, you'll get a file that says OS update, and there'll be a series of files under here, and then you'll see the OS images. So what we're going to do is take this OS update file and copy it. And on the device, we're going to paste it to the temp directory. This will take uh, about a minute and a half to copy over. There are some larger files. At one point, you might get this question in Active Sync. While you're Active Syncing the files over, do you want to copy an executable? Just say yes. If it asks you for any others, just say yes as well. So now the file is in our temp directory on our device. And we're going to go to it on our device now. So we'll close out of the system. Right now we're 045704. And we'll go into my documents. We'll go back. So if we scroll down, we see here's our temp directory. We see our OS update folder. So in here, we're going to say details. Okay. And from here, we want to make sure we're selecting temp. So either double click on it or select it and press enter. And at this point, you say enter and the device will go into OS update mode. So this will take about five minutes to update to the latest OS. And then once it's done, we'll see what version that the version has changed and then everything's updated. So after the device reboots, we can go into settings, control panel, system info, and we see here at the bottom 055716. Now if we wanted to add that hotfix we saw, we would just active sync that to the device and install the CAV file and then it will reboot and be the most up to date for the MC92N0. Thank you.